All right, we're going to be looking at um, principles uh, with this cane and then also um, gait patterns with the cane um, here with our patient. Um, and so we're going to be going through a few of those things um, starting. This is a single point cane. You can also use the same principles with a quad cane as well. Single point as it has one point um, here at the end. And so this primary use for this, is, uh, this assisted device is for balance. Um, the patient should not be applying a whole lot of pressure through this device um, as it is not um, as stable as, say, a walker. And so first getting started, um, we're going to uh, apply some principles here that we use in physical therapy. Um, and so the first being a wide base of support versus a narrow base of support. So when you go on one leg, you have a narrow base of support, which can throw off your balance and make it a little bit more difficult compared to two points of contact on the ground, which allow you for a wider base of support. So when we're looking at a cane, oftentimes you're thinking, does it go on the bad side? Does it go on the good side? In this case, it's gonna go on the good side when walking with a patient. Um, and so here we have it indicated that her left leg, um, the therapian being her bad side, you might reference that um, due to a certain pathology and orthopedic condition that she might be having with her lower extremity. Um, and so this cane is gonna go on her good side. So now when the patient is walking, again, following the same principle as with a, um, a, a walker, typically you might have an assistive device, then the bad leg, and then the good leg. Um, and so we're gonna follow that same sequence. As the patient gets a little bit more fluid, um, they can start applying and kind of um, fusing some of those principles together. Um, but first off, wide base support. So if we have the assistive device going with that same bad left leg in this instance, um, that is gonna allow for a wide base of support when that patient is on their bad lower extremity. This cane will allow um, um, balance um, while they're going through and sequencing through their good leg. Another principle is our reciprocal gait pattern, uh, a fancy way of saying how we normally walk. And so typically our hands and feet are not tied together. And so typically we are not walking in a slow motion pattern with our arms and legs together, but more so they are opposite one another. So as that left leg comes forward, my right arm naturally tends to go forward and vice versa. And so those two principles are gonna allow this cane to be on the right side, on the patient's good side while she is walking. Again, as um, nursing, as therapy, I wanna make sure to position myself on the patient's bad side um, as they often need more help, more stability on this side. So again, I'm gonna instruct my patient to bring the cane forward and then the left leg and then the right leg, good. As that person gets more fluid, they can bring the cane and their left leg together at the same time and then step through with that right. 